Welcome to the live word. Now let's listen to Dr. Bernard Otto Papia, Senior Pastor of the Live Word Center. Hello, my friend. Um, it's such a joy to come your way once again. Um, today I've got something very um, short to share with you. Uh, something that affects you a Christian or not. It's something that we all go through at some point in our lives and sometimes we ask questions. Now, um, there are situations and circumstances that we go through that sometimes we ask the question whether um, God is actually with us and whether, God, and whether God actually is concerned about the things that we are going through. Um, when you go to the book of Exodus chapter 28 from the verse 9 to 12, you find out that Moses uh, told, or God told Moses to make for Aaron and the priest. Um, he told him as part of the process to put 12 stones um, on the breastplate of Aaron. And the reason is that so any time he came into the presence of God, these the 12 tribes of Israel on them, so that the 12 tribes will be remembered by, by him, that is God. He said, present yourself with these 12 stones, which has the engravement or the inscription of the names of the 12 tribes, memorial uh, before me. And when you go back to the New Testament, it's also amazing that the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, that the Bible says that Jesus Christ stands at the right hand side of God making it. One thing quite clearly, that in spite of everything that we may be going through, the difficulties and the challenges that we may be faced with, in spite of the fact that we may not have answers to some of the complex questions that, uh, that life asks us, um, in spite of the fact that we may be going through some difficulties in life, um, God still remembers us. He has not forgotten about us. Um, sometimes when you go through challenges and uh, friends can't help, people can't help, um, no one seems to have answers to what you are dealing with. Sometimes uh, to understand whether God really sees what you are going through and really understands uh, the situation that you are in. Sometimes the situation seems very difficult and complex that you even wonder whether God really can even solve it. But I'm here to let you know that God remembers you. He did that in the old covenant, under the old covenant, that his people may know that any time the priest who represented them came into his presence, he remembers all of them. They were always before him. And the priest went before God so many times in the day and so many times in the week and in the year. And in the same way, now we have a high priest in Christ's right hand side of God, permanently making intercession for us. I just want to leave this with you. That it doesn't matter what you are going through, no matter the difficulties, no matter the challenges that you are faced with, no matter how complex it is, God remembers you. And in his time and in his season and at the right time, he will come through for you. There is no mountain that is too tall that he cannot get over it. And I think that by now, if you look at some of the things around us that are so complex, if you look all around us, some of the things that he has created, how complex they are, scientists keep on trying to discover and, and unravel the complexity of nature in itself. It tells you detail. And whatever you are going through, whatever challenges that you are faced with, whatever problems that you carry, whatever burdens that are on your shoulders, I want you to know that God is interested in every detail of it and he will come through for you at the right time. I want you to just be relaxed and know that in spite of anything, which is, it's not anything that God has not seen before. It's not anything that has not happened to man before and that he has the experience and he has the expertise to be able to take them and make something better out of it for you. I want to encourage you this week that you should lift up your head, raise your chin and go out that the God who created you and put you on this side of life is still interested in every area and aspect of your life and he's still in charge and above all, he still remembers you. God bless you. Thank you for and taking time to listen to Live Word. To correspond with Dr. Bernard Otoparpia, please send email to bernard at tlwconline.org. For more information on the Life Word Center, please visit www.tlwconline.org.